here this morning uh, to a place called uh, Home Park Fell, just outside Burton in Kengal, on the uh, limestone pavement. Here this morning at Home Park Fell to shoot the tangled off arms that go out of the limestone pavement. Really good location for landscape photography, for black and white landscape photography. With interesting foregrounds and interesting trees to photograph. I've shot this uh, off on here using the uh, the dikes, which is the uh, hollow in the limestone pavement where the the rains created the uh, depression to lead me into the picture. We've got a nice silhouette, hopefully which will give me uh, a good black and white photograph. Uh, taking a picture of this uh, old tree here and one of the erratics. That was left by the glacier that scraped away all the top surface was revealing the limestone pavement. I don't know where that rock come from, it must have been miles and miles away to get dumped here back in the ice age. So I'm just gonna shoot this shoot this shot. The sky's a bit bland, there's not much in the sky to try and trying to bring out so possibly I may do a cheat on this when I get it home and drop another sky into it to make it more interesting. The foreground's got a lot of interest with the limestone pavement. And that's creating a lot of interest there. But the sky, that's a little bland, not much there. So I may do a cheat and drop a new sky in it in post-processing. shooting this little uh, tree that's managed to seed itself among the uh, limestone pavement using the lines from the pavement to lead me into the tree. I'm shooting it on uh, F16 using a 909 soft grad just to try and get something out of the sky which is very bland and uninteresting. There's more interest in the foreground than there is in the sky, so I'm just keeping the sky to the top third. I'll possibly drop a new sky into that to make it more interesting instead of boring. I'll see what I can do back in post-production. In this, this is a good, good example of an erratic which was uh, left where it stood. I suppose it stood here now for 15,000 years, and it would have been dumped there by a glacier as it retreated back during the last ice age on its plinth of uh, limestone pavement. The harder rock on top and the softer rock underneath slowly dissolving away. 
see what we can do with this another bland sky so maybe I have to have another sky into this shot we'll have to wait and see in post-production Quite a wild place, Old Park Fell. It's hard to believe that millions of years ago, all this was once a coral reef in a tropical sea. And now it's the cold and desolate northwest of England. But it makes interesting photographs. Found a nice composition here with these rocks in the foreground, really dark rocks, and that tree. But from a standing position like this, composition could be better. So what I've done is I dropped my camera to the floor and silhouetted the tree above the horizon. So the top branches of the tree clear of the horizon to give me a nice silhouette give me a nice composition which will make a really good black and white photograph and that may be my shot of the day today f10 0.9 soft grad I think I've got the shot of the day dying and breaking apart all these uh, old limbs on the branches here makes quite an interesting picture going out across the fell so oh, I like the sky as well so I'm gonna do two shots here I'm gonna take a shot for the sky and I take a shot for the foreground so take one with the foreground and one for the sky and blend the two together because if I take one to keep the I want it, the, the clouds quite dark in the sky, the foreground's too too dark. And if I shoot for the foreground, the sky is coming out too light. So I'm going to take two two photographs and blend the two together. <laughs> 